What is going on guys, Greggles TV. This is gonna be the 10 best reasons, well I feel like are the 10 best reasons to switch over from an iPhone over to a Galaxy Note 10 Plus. And this is gonna be high level stuff. I'm not gonna go super deep into everything um, because this phone can do so much, but I kinda of wanted to give you a quick overview of why you might wanna switch over to it. Now let's get into the first one. The first one being customization and software so customization is huge on android especially with galaxy phones you can do and change almost anything you want on here change the wallpaper you can theme out your phone so if you like to uh, choose different themes on your phone you can do that on here from changing the the icons to the wallpapers to the sounds that it emits all kinds of crazy stuff on here. It's amazing and super easy to do. You've got widgets, so if you wanna add little apps um, onto your screen without having to actually open the app, like you want your calendar on there, or maybe you want um, uh, your Gmail to sit on there to give on, you know, just to sit on the home screen, it will do that, and you don't even have to open the app and you can see that information. Um, you also have in here the ability to go into home screen settings and change things on here maybe you want to make a uh, five by five home screen grid or your app screens to be four by six or add an apps button or add or remove app icon badges that's think of what that is is when you see uh, numbers next to your apps of how many notifications you have you can turn that on and off you can lock your home screen layout so if you don't want apps to add or disappear it'll do that you can also add apps to your home screen when they are downloaded you can go in here into settings and go into, this is just, again, there's so many, there's hundreds of different customizations, but you can go in here and go into advanced features and you can play around with different S Pen um, uh, features and, and turn on and turn off certain things that you want. You can go in here and the side key, you can press that and make it do different things. Maybe when, when you double press it, you want it to quick launch your camera or to open up a specific app. When you press and hold that button right there, maybe you want it to wake Bixby or turn on your power menu and so on and so forth. You can see this just a crazy amount of features. Double tap your screen to wake it up, lift your phone to wake it up. You can turn that on and off. Um, palm swipe to capture a screenshot. Again, just crazy amount of customizations. This is just a very high level of that. Next is the S Pen if you ever wanted a pen to write with. Um, you can do that. You can come in here and just write yourself little notes if need be. Maybe you want to say uh, a little grocery list and you want to write it instead of typing it out. You can do that. Did I even spell milk right? <laughs> Maybe you need water. My handwriting's awful. I look right like a two year old. <laughs> uh, maybe you need bread and whatever else. You can do that. It's, it's just amazing what you can do with this S Pen. Uh, you can go in here and capture you know, screenshots of maybe you want to capture a little screenshot of your clock because you think it's really cool and you want to send that off to somebody. You can do that. Um, you can come in here and you can extract the text from it so that you can see it just copy the text. I can copy that. I can share the text. Maybe someone sent you a business card and you just want to do that. You can do that right from the S Pen. There's so much you can do with this S Pen. It's ridiculous. Um, you can write on your screen after you take a screenshot. You can see. Make it thicker. There we go, that's much better. And you can you know, draw on screenshots very easily, all kinds of stuff. Another cool thing you can do with the S Pen, if you didn't know, is you can have it you know, do things within the apps as well. So if I press and hold it, it should open my camera. And it did, if I double tap it, it's gonna switch to me. And I'm gonna be able to take a, screen a, a, a photo with it. So if you're far away, and you want to take a photo with it, you can. Maybe you're uh, far, too far from being able to take a photo with your phone, but you have it set up on a tripod, you can do that with the S Pen just by pressing this button on the S Pen. And when I'm playing a video, you have a couple options here. You can see the bars on the, on the side here, but if you want to zoom in, you do see a little bit of a dot, but you know what? It doesn't get in the way of you know doing what you're uh, watching. It's not gonna bother you that much. It's, it's just, it's not a bad thing at all. It doesn't bother me the least bit when I'm watching videos. And then when you're on social media, it does not get in the way of what you're doing. And, and uh, it's nice to not have that huge notch and still get a huge screen and super, super small bezels. Next up is the camera. I love shooting video 
with this phone. This is the ultra wide camera angle. So think of it like a GoPro. When you uh, are shooting video, uh, one of the cool things is on the back, you have an ultra wide lens to take uh, video with. So you can get really close to something and record it and it looks beautiful. So this is a 4K ultra wide video of my son, which I absolutely love. And here I'll show you, you can see the BenQ. Um, this is one lens that's gonna be, you know, just the normal default lens. And then you have this one that's gonna bring you in even closer. And then you have the ultra wide. That, like I said, you can basically go right here. My, my hand is super close and you can capture awesome looking video. You can also go to your photos. Your photos have all the same lenses as well. So that you can get ultra wide and so on and so forth to capture great looking photos. And here's just a couple examples of some photos I took. This is with the front facing camera, showing off the vocal look in the back where it blurs the background and captures the person in focus. So just a beautiful camera with video and photos. Next would be charging. I've made videos on the charging already and this phone charges so fast. So it can charge 25 watts out of the box, which allows you to fully charge this phone in about 65 minutes or so. Super fast. An iPhone XS Max takes about two hours to charge. So with basically within an hour, you can fully charge this phone. It's crazy. It also uh, can purchase separately a 45 watt charger. So if you want to get the ultimate, you know, fastest charging, almost basically under an hour of charging. And also you can do 45 watt charging for an additional charger. They have it for sale. I'll link it down below if you want to purchase it. Uh, and that will bring your charging basically to under an hour to fully charge this phone. So fast charging is crazy ridiculous on the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. Next would be 5G. 5G is available right now with Galaxy Note 10 Plus. You can purchase it and you can't say that about the iPhone currently and probably not for another year or two with the iPhone, at least with the way rumors are going. So if you want and need the fastest in networking for your phone on your smartphone carrier, Galaxy Note 10 Plus is a great way to go. A really cool feature of the Galaxy Note 10 Plus is the ability to wireless power share. And what that means is you turn that on and lay your phone down. And then what you do is put a device on the back of your phone that can wirelessly charge such as uh, the Galaxy Buds or another phone and it will charge it from your Galaxy Note 10 Plus onto that other device no matter what it is as long as it can wireless charge. Next would be the ability to add extra storage for basically no cost or very little cost if you already have a micro SD card. All you do is pop this open, put the micro SD card right here, and it will allow you to get more storage for, again, very inexpensive or free if you already own the SD card and you don't have to spend hundreds more to get more storage. But even if you wanted to, there's tons of storage on this phone already. It comes with 256 or 512 gigabytes of storage, so a ton of storage comes with this phone, so an amazing little thing that you can do to get more storage. A really cool one is Samsung Dex, and basically you can see right here, it opens a new desktop world. Basically what it is, is you plug in a cable into one end of your phone, and then the other end into a monitor, hook up a keyboard and mouse wirelessly via Bluetooth to your phone, and you can use your phone like a desktop computer. This works on Mac and PC. You can use two screens at once, the phone and the display that it's hooked up to. So if you're looking for a device to not only be your smartphone, the Note 10 Plus is an awesome way to also make it act like a desktop computer. And last would be battery life. You are going to easily get all day battery life as much as you use it with your Galaxy Note 10 Plus. As you can see, 17% left and five hours, 33 minutes of screen on time. And the other cool thing about this is that I know people that are getting seven, eight, nine, 10 hours basically of screen on time, meaning that the screen's on for that amount of time with their phone. They're getting a crazy amount of battery life with their Galaxy Note 10 Plus. And then even if you are not getting good battery life or even if you are and you just need some extra charge, remember you have that super fast charging. So you can charge up 
even 15, 30 minutes and be up to, you know, 60, 70% at that point. It's crazy, crazy fast charging and then also really great battery life. Anyways, guys, those are my reasons for upgrading from an iPhone over to a Note 10 Plus. If you want to purchase a Note 10 Plus, it is linked down below. I've made your life easier. And uh, if you already have the Note 10 Plus, tell everybody why you love it in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. See you down the road. Peace.